The awkward, unavoidable fact that remained to support the impact theory was the fern spike. The predominance of fern spores in the KT boundary layers suggests that all vegetation was destroyed for a time. Those who were convinced that Chicxulub killed off the dinosaurs argue that the fern spike caused by the impact is still the key to understanding the mass extinction. It's reasonable to think that all the standing vegetation all over the earth was destroyed. So we don't understand exactly how yet, but certainly it's evidence of a dramatic uh, catastrophe in the terrestrial ecosystem from the impact. Because the vegetation was not destroyed by wildfires, the most likely cause seems to be global darkness brought on by the impact dust. And that would have been catastrophic for the dinosaurs. Naturally, if you're a plant-eating dinosaur, all of a sudden the plants you're eating are gone. So this, of course, is the end of you. And if you're a meat-eating dinosaur, preying on the plant-eating dinosaurs, once they're gone, you're gone too. The end of the dinosaurs now seems much more complicated than it once did. It appears they were already dwindling under pressure from a worsening environment. Massive volcanism and falling sea levels might have forced them to extinction, even if the asteroid had missed. But there was a massive asteroid impact, either at Chicxulub or was it somewhere else entirely?